Hello, I'm Dr. David Anderson with the Veterinary Medical Center for Large Animals here at the University of Tennessee. And uh, today we're out on a nice spring day talking with uh, Dr. Whitlock. Dr. Whitlock is board certified with the American College of Theory Genologists, which means he's an expert in reproductive diseases of cattle. And uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about pregnancy diagnosis in cows. And so um, number one is why do I need to get my cows diagnosed for pregnancy? That's a wonderful question, Dr. Anderson. There's probably nothing more important than knowing uh, in a cow-calf operation if your cows are pregnant. Uh, it's been estimated that it costs approximately $550 a year to uh, maintain a cow throughout a, a uh, throughout, throughout a year on a beef herd. Uh, that does not take into account uh, the, the the gain from um, uh, selling a calf uh, and any, uh, to my knowledge, veterinary cost. Uh, so if you kept a cow that were to be open, not pregnant, for that additional time, then in essence you are paying that money uh, without reaping any benefit of that cow having a calf. So I'm losing $500 for every open cow that I'm keeping on the farm that's of breeding age. Um, you know, how should I go about doing that? It's a pregnancy diagnosis, something I should be doing myself. Should I engage a veterinarian? What do I need to, to do to get that done? Uh, you should engage a veterinarian. Uh, you should consult the veterinarian in your area. And um, it, it's something that can be done a few different ways. Uh, one, it can be done by rectal palpation, transrectal palpation of the reproductive tract of the cow. Uh, and that can be done as early as 30 days after breeding. Um, so what we generally recommend in a herd that has a narrow breeding season, uh, approximately a month to month and a half after the bull is removed, uh, the cow should be pregnancy diagnosed at the time. Uh, ultrasonography or ultrasound can be used uh, as a tool for pregnancy diagnosis, can give more information, uh, could even tell the sex of the calf, bull or, or, or heifer. Uh, can also tell uh, any pathology, any disease going on in the uterus, or if there's any unique problems with the ovaries. Uh, last, but certainly not least, uh, uh, blood tests can be used. Uh, one of the more common commercially available tests uh, detects a hormone in the blood, and it is a very good test as well. And it's down to 30 days after uh, breeding, uh, after the animal becomes pregnant, that it can be used uh, too. Uh, they all have advantages and disadvantages, um, but uh, yeah, I would certainly recommend consulting your veterinarian to see what's most appropriate for your farm. Okay, so that EPT test, early pregnancy test for cattle is uh, through the blood, not the urine. Um, you know, how do I get into problems? And so if I'm having problems with cows that are not pregnant, um, deciding whether or not that's a cow that I should try to retain or sell. What a lot of farmers do in this part of the country is they may have two breeding and two distinct calving seasons. If you have that, some farmers choose uh, to move that animal to the, the other breeding season, other calving season. Uh, if you have a narrow, a two month breeding season and subsequently a two or three month calving season later on, um, unless an animal has genetic value, if you're a seed stock operation, uh, then of course you may decide uh, to, to retain that animal. If it's a cow-calf operation, you can't fall in love with those cows. At the end of the day, if they're not making calves and becoming pregnant, uh, you can't retain them. Yeah, and so it's important to, um, to verify whether they're pregnant or not because I'm, I'm wasting money if, if I've got cows that aren't pregnant in a breeding herd. It's important to uh, get some idea of, of when that pregnancy occurred so I can help synchronize uh, my calving seasons. What's my target goal for calving season? How, over what period of time do I want uh, cows to be calving and is there a difference between heifers and cows? Uh, ideally, uh, 60 days, roughly a two month breeding and subsequently a calving season. Um, heifers, it's ideal to put the bull with those animals uh, maybe two to three weeks, if not maybe a month earlier. Uh, there's a, we call uh, in the business like a sophomore slump. Um, that subsequent, so after an animal has its very first calf, that next breeding season uh, is often difficult for those animals to become rebred uh, because they're still growing. Remember, they're not as big as they'll be when they're finally mature, so they have some growing to do. So you're right, it's ideal to, to put those, uh, the bull in early with those animals. And ultimately a goal is to have about 90% of your animals uh, pregnant after a two, two and a half, three month breeding season. That still means that 10% of your herd may be open and if you um, you choose to not pregnancy test, you're going to retain those, that 10% of your herd as open animals and that's in a well managed uh, fertile herd. So that can damage our cash flow and uh, threaten the farm. So. You know, those are important things, uh, to have a working relationship with your veterinarian to help ensure that you're staying on track and meeting goals that you want to, 
uh, and it's important for uh, farm sustainability in the long term. So here at the University of Tennessee, we're about premium health care and premium client service. We certainly uh, enjoy the opportunity to work with you and your veterinarian to achieve those goals and appreciate Dr. Whitlock visiting with us a little bit today about pregnancy testing in cattle.